Well, it's been nearly five months since Hurricane Matthew devastated the east, and some are still desperately trying to recover. First Alert meteorologist Pierce Legion has more on how religious leaders could provide the help they're looking for. The storm is gone. The floodwaters receded long ago. But for some, the wrath of Hurricane Matthew mm -hmm. is still an everyday reality. Most of us are just amazed now uh, after 1999 that it's taking this long for the, for the farms to actually hit the ground. We had over 3,000 people was affected of Matthew. There was only 1,057 that FEMA was able to assess with. So you have close over 2,000 people still out there. Many people are continuing to suffer and the unmet needs are increasing and changing. The next step to getting these people the help they need may very well involve getting clergy involved in this Hurricane Matthew impact documentation forms going door by door to assess the need in their communities. There has been historically this underfunding of uh, non-funding of documentation. The county emergency management uh, team, they don't have funding to staff that. So we really need volunteers. And who better? than those who know their community best. So right now, we don't have caseworkers, and what it actually does is making us be the caseworkers. Providing hope for those who have been forgotten. They can see a light at the end of the tunnel. They feel that there's people that's caring. And these men and women hope to be a shining light for those suffering in their communities. In Greenville, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side. This group will focus on needs in Pitt County, but hopes to inspire religious leaders in other counties to join together and do the same.